Contraceptives, according to the Catholic Church, are intrinsically evil. Why? Well, it's simple. If you ask an anti-contraceptive Catholic to explain their views, they'll generally tell you that, well, it's because contraception does precisely what it says on the tin. It prevents the opportunity for conception, denying the possibility of life. Husband should give of himself totally to his wife. His wife should give of herself completely back to her husband. And this mutual self-donation from this love communion between them comes a what? A third person, a baby. So that's what it's all about. We are supposed to image the divine family. And anything that cuts off our ability to do that, i.e. contraception, is wrong. It's also not procreative because obviously contraception is blocking the very possibility of conception. Now this is often brought up in conjunction with abortion as if they're comparable abortion. discussions. Why? Well, because contraception breaks down this intrinsic link between sex and babies. And once we do that, then we make it okay for people to think I can engage in a sexual lifestyle, I don't have to have babies, and to have that kind of lifestyle you really need abortion. And so what contraception does is actually facilitate this culture of death mindset. But there's an important distinction. And that's that whether you agree or not with the position of the Catholic Church regarding abortion, you can understand it. Okay, Catholics believe that life begins at fertilization, and so by having an abortion, you're killing a human being, which generally has the effect of putting you in God's bad books. Unless, of course, he sanctions it, but generally, it's a bad thing. But with contraceptives, you are committing a crime regarding a baby that hasn't even been created yet. Now, when most people hear this argument for the first time, they oftentimes don't really give it a second thought. It seems pretty logical. Catholics believe in the sanctity of life. Contraceptives deny the opportunity for life, and therefore contraceptives are evil. But let's think about this for a second. How far can we extend this logic? Contraceptives are not the underlying principle. Okay, so let's focus on the principle, which is that preventing the opportunity for life is immoral. Now let's take precisely this Catholic logic and apply it to an example. Let's say that a man comes home from work and invites his wife to the bedroom, and she says no. She's tired, she's not in the mood. She is preventing the opportunity for life to be created, and therefore surely should be penalized in the same way that someone would be for using contraceptives. Or to those of you watching this video who are married, unless you happen to be multitasking, you're not procreating right now. Why not? You are preventing the opportunity for life to be created. By this logic, refusal to have sex should be considered immoral and even evil. Okay, by using precisely the same logic that the Catholic Church applies to their condemnation of contraceptives, rape can be justified. And if it isn't apparent enough to you already, this logic is fundamentally flawed. Contraception is not evil. It's not something to be actively avoided. In fact, contraception saves lives, and it could be saving more. This is why most Christian denominations condone its employment, and I think it's about time that the Catholic Church followed suit.